fear about the place. The debate is over as to whether the semi-finals should be at Wembley. That's where we are on a glorious afternoon. Chelsea go head to head with Luton Town, the last survivors from outside the Premiership. Sure, I'm sure he was. But Glenn Hoddle played under David Fleet, and we all know about the 1987 FA Cup final. It was Glenn's last game for Tottenham, incidentally. Do you think that will have a, fact, uh, a bearing in reading each other's minds and the different approaches? No, I don't think so, Martin. I think both teams, as we'll see when we go into them, are going to attempt to play different ways. And I think whichever team dominates the game, whichever team starts the better, could have a, a huge bearing on the outcome of this game. And I don't think the fact that Glenn played for, I think it was just one year. And then went away to what they regard as their lucky hotel in Beaconsfield. Well, it 
This is a semi-final which symbolises a splendid season in this captivating competition. Luton Town have been leading the way for the lower division clubs who caused so many upsets. Chelsea, famously unpredictable themselves, are finding themselves at this stage for the first time since 1970. Saturday felt a bit odd, but when Chelsea and Luton emerged from the tunnel, all the old excitement and anticipation were there. Mascarino won it well, Dre was for sure. Now there's a manager who gives way to his feelings. Peacock did well. Spencer, Peacock, number two. And the gap now is clearly shown on the score sheet.